Yeah, you're still locked in. It's your feel-good breakfast show. It's Expresso Show. And we're on SABC3. And of course, it's no secret that for decades, many people have struggled to lose belly fat. And now this midsection is one of the most difficult areas on the body when it comes to getting fit and in shape. And the best way to tackle that extra fat around the stomach is following a healthy lifestyle, which includes a good diet and exercise. And if you're looking to get rid of that body fat and sculpt those abs, then this is the perfect workout for you. And I'm joined by the ever so beautiful Kukle Adams. Woo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing this morning, Kukle? You ready? <laughs> I'm, all, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Cool. I mean, this is one thing that I think I'm only starting to struggle with now because from my younger years, I've never really had um, an issues with my body or how it looks. But now as I'm growing older, some parts are falling yeah, apart. I, I feel you and I think everybody else out, out there watching that is of an older age maybe is definitely feeling it too. I think as youngsters, we can get away with so much, but mm. as we get older, we need to deal with so much more and uh, we struggle to deal with the food that we put into our bodies. So we're starting off by getting rid of all the damage that we did. And uh, we're gonna start off with a warm up. We're hitting the core today, we're nailing yeah. it. We're getting it shredded, we're getting it strong, we're getting it fit and stabilized. But before we do, of course, it's still nice and cold. We're still kinda in that winter feel. So let's get warmed up. And all we're gonna do is start off with a little bit of a dance running movement that activates the core. We practiced it earlier, so let's show everybody. We're starting off with a nice run. We're gonna keep those legs nice and high and suspended. And you're moving your arms at the same time. And what you really wanna focus on now is just having some fun with this, getting nice and warm, taking your time until you slow slowly start to glow in that skin, you start to break down a little bit of a sweat and about 30 seconds to a minute into it, you should be ready, you should be warm, then you should have your core nice and activated. Ooh. All right, quickly, how are you feeling over there? I'm feeling all ready, all pumped up. Yeah, I'm all let's go. Done. So let us get on the ground now. We're gonna do the dirty work and for everybody else out there, let's uh, sit on our behinds and start <laughs> this thing up. So all you need for today's session when it comes to core is something like this. It's a bottle that we're gonna put in front of our feet. Okay. If you don't have a bottle, get a can, get a book or anything that's just gonna be a reference point and this is what we're going to be using as our obstacle for the day mm. to ensure that we engage this core to get the work done all right so what we're going to do is actually start off we would normally be lying on our backs but I think just because of the fact that we want to start off with this journey let's support our upper bodies instead all right so okay. you can have your um, upper body supported with you by your arms you really want to still have a nice good posture okay so what that means is you want to keep your core engaged engaging the core also means guys if anybody out there is uh, listening and paying attention or confused how you engage your core you want to draw your navel towards your spine really sucking it in and keeping it hard at the same time and that means you've got good core engagement and now what we're gonna do, Kukla Adams, you're gonna have your feet pointing out or up into the sky, have them together. And what you wanna do is get your feet to go over the bottle, all right? So having that core engaged, I'm gonna bring my feet to the left-hand side and then try bring it straight over the bottle, all the way over and over to the other side. There you go, and especially when you're going down, try control it, try not drop your legs too much onto the ground and really slow down when, you, when you're restarting this movement. Were you feeling the pain there? <laughs> Definitely my core and my legs. Yeah. The, I think the most difficult part is gradually landing them to the ground. Yes, and that's gonna make such a massive difference. Instead of us just throwing our feet on the ground, landing quite aggressively and plonking it down, including that control and that eccentric load is really gonna give you that core stimulation. You're gonna feel the burn, and I'm sure you're also feeling a little bit of stimulation in those quads, yeah. and that's that hip flexor coming into play, which is connected all the way through across that hip into that core region, and that's that perfect movement that's gonna allow you lift your legs in a sprint and become more active. We're gonna take the same movement now and make it a little bit more interesting. So what we're gonna do, we were moving over the bottle, mm -hmm. now we're gonna go in and out. So you'll see my feet on the, on the right-hand side of the bottle. I'm gonna bring it towards my chest, keeping it in the air, and then pushing it over to the left-hand side of the bottle. Keeping it up in the air, suspended. Don't touch the ground if you can, keeping okay. it nice and tense. You'll start shaking a little bit, you'll feel the pain, and then we're gonna bring it straight over to the other side of the bottle. And you're gonna repeat this, Kukle Adams, for Ooh. 12 reps in total. Each of these oh exercises is 12 reps. You're almost there, keep pushing, keep pushing. Pushing all done. <laughs> and then you guys can relax after the 12 reps and I'm sure you're feeling it deep down in the core, Definitely. in the legs as well. And this is exactly what I was talking about, guys. The connection of the core, it's not just the abs, but it's how it associates with all the other extremities of the body. So mm. you see how we're working the legs, but the core is so important in order to make that movement precise and controlled. How are you feeling? 
I am feeling extremely tired. It's like I underestimated how hectic these exercises are. Yeah, and the older and older we get, quickly the harder it becomes. So mm. it's the best idea to start right now. now. It doesn't matter what age now. you are. Tomorrow, you will be bigger than the, the day before, right? So finishing off now. So what you're gonna do is, if you can, keep your body suspended. This one's a little bit harder. We're not using our hands anymore, but what we are gonna do is have our feet on either sides of the bottle, and we're gonna get our elbow to touch our knee Ooh. while suspended. So right elbow, left knee, see if you can okay. do that. If it's too much of a struggle, you can keep your legs on the ground, but try and keep them in the air for now. Touching it, oh, that is beautiful stuff. Kukla abs in the building, yeah! <laughs> I'm feeling those ab gains already, look oh. at that! <laughs> and of course, guys, you wanna go again for 12 reps wow. in total. That's six each side. And if you're struggling with this one, Kukla, I want you to try the following for me. If okay. that is a little bit too hard for you, mm -hmm. keep your feet on the ground once again, and let you just bring your elbows towards your knees. So don't go all the way down, so keep your legs on the ground. Oh, like yes, this. there you go. Keeping that core engaged. Beautiful form. By keeping the core engaged, I'm sucking in my belly yes, button. Yes, yes, yes. That is it, guys. That is the perfect setup for you to get your core engaged, to get it shredded, and to get magazine ready. Kukle, I know you enjoyed that one. I know you're feeling like you're glowing. You're looking so much stronger since the last time I worked out with you. That's really? Girl, yeah, oh my so. goodness, I appreciate that, Ryan on <laughs> saying thanks to you and all the exercises that you've been putting us on here on the show. I mean, as much as it's so difficult for us to do them on the spot but you've taught us that practice makes perfect and that you need to commit to your workouts every day oh she couldn't have said it any better so keep practicing keep enjoying the magic and of course we'll catch up with you soon enjoy <laughs>